hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be trying more new makeup because I feel like okay hear me out I feel like 2020 and like a few years after makeup releases were happening but I feel like maybe there just wasn't a huge push for things or maybe I'm just oblivious and I'm like feeling like there's a lot of stuff out right now but I feel like 2024 has been the year for new makeup releases and truly I can't keep up and you know what I'm so happy that makeup is like back in the realm I'm hoping more people come back to YouTube a little bit more just to like learn a little bit more about the products and another thing too it is the year for foundation and blushes foundation blushes face products all around I think we're all kind of you know we have an eyeshadow palette and we're like yeah this is good but face products I don't know about you, I can't get enough. We're gonna dive in and we're gonna try a bunch of different products. We have a new foundation stick. We also have a new bronzer here. I, okay, this is a flashback, but I wanna try the MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle again. I forgot how it worked, you know? Anyways, we have a ton of stuff to try. We're gonna dive right into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and hop on into it. <laughs> And also a portion of the video will be sponsored by She Glam. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring that portion of the video. It's to show you guys this new foundation stick. We're gonna get all into that. I have not primed my face yet. I showered. I worked out this morning and I don't know what it was. Um, but I, I worked out this morning and then I got home. I took a shower. I was like, this is it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like motivated. I hit a wall. I was like, I wanna take a nap. I'm so freaking tired. I kind of hit a wall and I'm starting a little bit later than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm so excited to get some makeup on this face because if there's one thing I love, it's makeup. I mean, a lot of other things too, obviously. I'm putting my Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer all over my skin. I should have went in with this one. I forgot I had this primer. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Resurface Smooth and Renew Primer. It says it's infused with a silkscreen complex and this primer creates a breathable silky barrier that perfects a canvas by smoothing skin. Anyways, I got this primer uh, a few weeks ago, actually. I just haven't tried it because I've been trying new foundations when I come on here to film. We'll be trying that very soon with like regular foundations that I love. But we're going to first dive into this new She Glam product. And I do have a 15% off code that actually works site-wide. I love their liquid blushes. I love their bronzers. I've done a couple videos of She Glam. I really like their products. And this is just a new one that I'm like incredibly excited to try. This right here is She Glam's new foundation. It's the Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation. It's 10 99 look at her before and afters they're so pretty there's 36 different colors and it says if you're looking for a portable and easy to use foundation you've come to the right place our she glam skin magnet high coverage foundation adheres to your skin with magnet like strength and locks in your look featuring a technology driven formula our foundation stick provides a stunning natural skin finish that won't cake up it's also vegan cruelty free it's supposed to have a blurring effect and you know when it says high coverage you got me. You got me in that tangled web you may have weaved. I will be there trying it out. So I actually have a few different colors here. Some that I'm going to try to match to me for my foundation. But then I also grabbed a couple of darker colors that I wanted to try as like a bronzer and contour. So this one is the first one. I love this packaging. By the way, it's very sleek and pretty. But this one's in the shade Earth. This is probably the one I would use as a contour. Maybe a bronzer. I don't know. That is very pigmented. Like the color. This is caramel. Ooh, the texture of these is so nice. Getting into the colors I might be able to use one is wheat. Wheat looks good. I mean, what's that one I just had? Caramel looks nice. I feel like I might have to mix a couple shades or this one might be good. Then we have sand. Uh, sand is usually a shade that I go with. This looks a little light though. Yeah, sand is nice. Sand is a little bit more yellow. Wheat is a little bit more peach. There's honey. Honey is a little bit lighter than I would expect for a shade called honey. But I think I'm going to go in with wheat. Clean brush. I cleaned her up with my Cinema Secrets to make sure she was ready to go. I need to make sure she's dry. Yeah, she's good. I'm going to do just one side of my face first because you guys know I love to do that. I'm just going to draw a couple little lines. This is one of my favorite parts about stick foundation it's like you're just coloring your face wheat actually now that I've pulled my hair back was the right decision and they're so easy to travel with too you know what I mean you're not worrying about a bottle like cracking and then liquid foundation getting everywhere 
So again, this is supposed to be high coverage and blurring. The Cinema Secrets, I can smell it. <laughs> it's blending like a dream, first of all. And it is looking really good. I kind of went in a little bit easy around my pore area, but I could definitely use more. But that looks really, like in person, let me bring you guys in. I always forget to do that, so please. Excuse me. I'm loving the way that looks. I am gonna build it up just a little bit right here in my pores area. We're gonna do doop, doop, and we're just gonna press this in. Going in my, right above my lip. I don't like to take foundation necessarily underneath my eyes, but I like to go, you know, kind of around it, because I use my concealer more than anything. Wheat was the perfect choice. So here's your little before. All the redness, everything you guys know, I have texture and all that stuff. Here's a little after, and I think it does look really good. This color is perfect. Perfect. I'm really happy I went with it. I think there is just a hint of redness right here, but I'm going to go in with concealer and all of that, and I'm not really worried about putting more product on top because I like the coverage so far. But, it, I mean, it looks really great. Like, it covered all my rosacea. Of course, we're going to do this side, my nose, too. All right, let's blend her in. There's nothing quite as satisfying as seeing your face all of a sudden match your neck and your chest oh you guys know I just love face products I love it I mean it just is so fun and that's another thing I, I kind of talked about it, I think on TikTok because people were asking about like my rosacea and stuff but like going for these lasers and trying to get rid of my redness like I like I like doing it but I know one day if I don't have my redness anymore it's gonna be really nice but I'll also be like wow it was just so satisfying to watch like products completely and totally get rid of that redness you know what i mean there's something so satisfying to me about watching it for myself you know i don't know how other people feel other people are like what is that on your face but for me it's just like so fun to watch it's just i don't know it's just so much fun all right it has like a natural matte finish it looks really nice i am impressed so far it's not very sticky but i do think you'll have some transfer so i i would set it I'm a setter. You do as you wish, but I like to set my product. All right, so I'm taking caramel and I'm just going in and building up for the bronzer part just to like warm up the face. And like I said, I love, I love their blushes and bronzers so much. The ones with the cushions on the bottom, they're so good, you guys. Like if you haven't tried them, I think they're like $5 and they're incredible. All right, now I'm going to take the color Earth. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a choo, choo, choo moment. Yeah, this is probably going to be the perfect shade for me for like contour wise. Take a different brush and I'm just going to really work. Oh, that's a really pretty color for contour. The way that blends is just so nice. It really doesn't take much at all to blend it out. And I love that. I will probably be contouring with this moving forward. I, I think this looks really good. Underneath the lip, chin, blend that out. The lip will just help make it look a little bit more pouty, like it kind of looks like it folds over. So you just blend it right underneath. And then, just don't forget it though. I have forgotten about underneath my chin and my lip many times before and it's just like, girl. Now let's do the five head. Okay, let's do this five head real quick. Again, I will leave my code below if you guys want to check it out. As you can see, it has high coverage. It blends really well. We're not even done with our makeup, and this looks so good so far. So, love that. And it's $10.99. Now, we're going to go on with another product that is new. And I'm, like, kind of deciding whether I want to go on with the Huda Beauty ones or this one. And I could do both. It might get a little crazy, but maybe we could do it. Oh, I'm like really low. I just had to lower my seat to like film, so sorry. This is the The House Lives Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balm in Glassy Patea? Patea? I don't know. Obviously, I went with the brightest pink that I could find. But the Huda Beauty ones are really cool too because they're blush filters. So I kept the card for hers because I found it interesting. I think like the idea, like look at her blush there. It's not even picking up on camera how beautiful it is. So she has all these different shades that are absolutely gorgeous. They use two different shades to create like some of the sunset blushes. Anyways, it's just interesting to me, but I'm going to try this House Labs one first on one side of my cheek. These are brand spanking new. Gorgeous. Now, I don't like to go straight in on my face. I like to usually just put my brush into it. And normally I like to apply my blush first because... 
when I go in with concealer, it kind of just cleans everything up. And if I go too heavy on my blush, which happens a lot, I can at least clean it up a little bit. You know what I mean? But this <laughs> is looking really pretty. Now, when it says glassy, right? I'm not crazy. I did just read that. Glassy blush balm. I thought it was going to be more of a high shine product. There is another product I've tried. I think the Kylie Cosmetics ones. This one, I did not love this. It was super creamy and it, it wasn't flattering on my textured skin but this one is sitting really really well and the color is gorgeous like it's blending like a dream and i haven't even put concealer on i love that this will probably be the one i take on vacation so far so good but i do want to try this ombre blush trend and i think i want to try the shades what shades does she use here so yeah each of these pictures they have two different colors which I think it's cool, but that's it, it gets expensive. You know, like you can like one color um, and not have to use both. But I think what I'll do is I'll try strawberry cream and cotton candy. This is what one of the girls has. Cotton candy and the strawberry cream. Then we have peach sorbet. Peach sorbet is really pretty. I love the fact too that these are the color of the blush. I love when people do that because then I can see what colors that they are. Okay, I'm gonna take this one first. It says three dots, but there's not a lot of product that like comes out on the wand or the doe foot, I should say. So there's three and a half. <laughs> then we'll do strawberry cream underneath for this ombre blush trend. The light pink one might be a little too light. For okay, let's blend it out and see how we're looking. That is so pretty. It's very much more subtle than like this one over here. But it's pretty. I feel like this one might be too light for me. I feel like strawberry cream might be the one for me to go in with. Maybe a little peach sorbet too while we're at it, you know. And, ugh, two is always better than one, right? Or four. That is so pretty. I know I'm getting a little crazy, but we have blush. Or we have concealer to do so we'll be okay i think these would be really good on their own i don't necessarily feel like you would have to buy two to get a really pretty effect i mean if you have more cream blushes in your collection like you could even mix this one and this one or the peach sorbet and kind of like make your own sunset i see where they were going with it i don't think it's worth buying two to get the look it's just my opinion i have a different concealer in here today this is the derma blend cover care full coverage concealer i feel like i haven't tried derma blend in so long i know that they have really great coverage products but i it's been years i think since i've tried a derma blend product so this looks a little light we might have to be very careful with this it's in the shade 15n and i don't know i just had the urge when i was in ulta to try this concealer again. So I'm gonna do one side of my face and then we'll kinda, ah, we'll kinda, oh no, not the white shirt. We'll kinda assess once we get, that is spreading so much more than I was expecting to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to go back in my blush. Definitely full coverage. Gosh, it's been years. I know they had, was it foundation, like drops, like serum drops or something? They've had some really great coverage products I've tried in the past. It's just been so long. Like, it's the same thing as where it's funny how when you do this for so long and things come back around. Like, people always tag me in other people's videos of, like, the It Cosmetics, um, the CC Correct for Redness. And I've tried that so many times, and it is good. It's one of those products where I see it as a foundation. So, it's like, do you just want another foundation? Because I wouldn't apply that and apply foundation on top if that makes sense but it you know products just come back around people forget about things and then when the new kind of generation comes up and starts trying new makeup things come back to life and you're like oh yeah i forgot about that product which is actually really great it's kind of like makeup makeup circle of life if that even makes any sense um this concealer is concealing i feel like we should all talk about that it looks so good first of all i kind of thought it might be too drying but it really i'm gonna touch up my blush it really just took us up a notch and that's why I love concealer so derma blend I'm so sorry for sleeping on you a little bit that just I mean I look awake everything is looking so good right now and the best part about that you guys is we haven't even set with powder and when you set with powder that's when things just come together I'm just going with the house labs one just to 
make it a little bit of a cohesive. We're looking good. The foundation, the bronzer, the blush, we are looking good. I think I just slammed this. Okay, good. It's like I think I just slammed it on top of that. I'm gonna use the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. You guys, this is so good. I went through one downstairs. It was like the rose one. I think it's number two. They're so smoothing and just beautiful for a setting powder. Like, you need to try them if you haven't already. I know they're expensive, but wow. They're just so good. Like, look at how that blurs the pores and everything. My forehead looks so smooth. If I'm not mistaken, I tried the YSL one in my last video. So we're going to try this new Sephora bronzer. This is their matte bronzer in Beach Bum Tan, which sounds right up my alley. Take a little Sephora... Oh, I'm sorry, this is milk makeup. I don't know what this is, but we're just gonna bronze up the skin a little bit. You can never have too much bronzer. I mean, you can, but like, ugh, I don't judge. Have as much bronzer as you want. I feel like this color looks really good. It looks very similar to the color I used from She Glam. Now, I'm going to go in. I don't think I showed you guys this one in the last video, but this Dior blush. I know it doesn't really match the House Labs one we used, but you have to see this color. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. She's expensive. But this one, I got the super baby pink one from Dior. That Remember when Kylie Jenner wore it? Everybody was going crazy. I got that, and it just doesn't show up on my skin. So this one, oh, it's perfection. It's perfection. She's gorgeous. And this is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I, it's just been so long since I've used this product that I forgot. I was like, why did everybody stop using it? Remember when it was like, Mac had us in a chokehold for the longest time? Okay, that's pretty. I will be definitely using this more. I feel like maybe I thought mineralized skin finish, like, I don't remember exactly, but for a little while there, I kind of thought, is it was it not as pigmented because it was baked and like a little bit tougher, if that makes sense? But nope. She's still pigmented. Oh my gosh. So in my last video that I did for you guys, I think it was the e.l.f. foundation. I used this Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyl. And at first I didn't really think anything of it. But this sucker lasted so long. It's like a really glossy finish. So I feel like you don't think anything of it. But the way that this lasted on my lips was crazy. It's like a nice thick consistency. I feel like I just need to tell you all that because... I didn't really get to update you on the lip product, but I had noticed, like I thought to myself, this is staying on my lips for a while. Cause you know how glosses like tend to come off and like that's not a big deal. That sucker, that's a good long wearing like glossy lip if you're looking one, it is intense. Using the Urban Decay Brow Blade per usual, I'm just gonna put my brows on. Gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow from Manny's palette. This is the Moon Shroom color palette from Lunar Beauty. The colors in this are just gorgeous. like. Can't get enough. I'm gonna take Toad, the big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna pop that into my crease. This palette is just so beautifully laid out. I love it. I was gonna do eyeliner, but I wanna hold on eyeliner just because I wanna do a new mascara and I want you guys to see it. I'm gonna take a little bit of chocolate truffle too, which is a smaller blending brush. And I'm just gonna kind of fluff this into the outer V. Let's dive into a new mascara. Now, this mascara had me intrigued. Clinique High Impact High Five Full Volume Mascara, which also I want to come on and say, I'm going to do probably a smoky eye with this very soon. I haven't done a smoky eye in so long. I probably forgot how to do one, but we're going to do it soon. So please don't fret. I've been wanting to try a new mascara. And to really see the mascara, I can't have eyeliner and all that on. So that's the reason why. I, my apologies. I'm going to go in and curl my lashes with the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I'm going to take this Kylie Cosmetics little matte black eyeliner and i'm just gonna line my upper waterline per usual i feel like the packaging is so cute i love it it's just this light green i didn't look at the brush so it's a regular brush okay okay that's what it looks like does the little package have anything on it i don't think it does i feel like i'm smoking a cigarette or something all right we're just gonna dive right in i'm going to apply this like i normally would and we'll see what kind of volume we get from it I love that it's like a tapered wand, so it's not large all the way across, which makes it easier to get into the inner and outer corners. I haven't dipped back in. This is just what came off the brush first. It's making them look very wispy. I just want to dip back into it one more time. I feel like it's more of a drier formula too, which I think I prefer. I love that. You can definitely build this up, and it's not going to get like clumpy or anything. It still separates really well. What do you guys think? Shout out to my UPS guy for not ringing the doorbell. That is truly... That's it right there. I like the mascara so far. Okay, we are off to a great start. Our hair, 
could be washed. All right, I'm going to use this Dibs Beauty Lip Liner. I don't know what shade it is. It says Via. I don't know if that's right. That's probably not right. But I love Dibs Beauty. Dibs Beauties. <laughs> but I love Dibs Beauties. Dibs Beauty Lip Liners. I can never say that. We're going to go in with a different lip product. You guys want to know what that laser treatment took away for me it was the melasma on my lips. I just remembered I had melasma and I haven't even noticed it since I got that laser treatment. It was the BBL Moxie laser treatment. BBL helps with like clearing up the skin, the redness, all of that. And then the Moxie helps with resurfacing. And my melasma was like flaking off. It was crazy to see, but so good. And I don't have it anymore. Technology, man. I can't. All right, I'm going to go in with Max Cream Cup. Guys, do you remember we used to be obsessed with these colors? I'm sure some of you still are, but like MAC will always hold a special place in my heart because MAC was that one place where I remember before YouTube and stuff like going into a MAC and just being so excited and trying on the new makeup. Getting a new MAC lipstick was like it for me in my teens and I just, MAC is what I remember even before, I didn't even know what Sephora was. MAC was like the place to go and will always hold a special place in my heart. The smell, everything. Everything about MAC is just perfection. But anyways, this is Cream Cup. And it right in the center. Guess what other color I got to bring the center part of my lip. Just take a wild guess. I'm going to let you guess in three, two, one. Creme de nude. <laughs> oh, talk about flashback. This, this, oh my gosh, and myth. Ugh. I'm also so glad they never changed their packaging. I'm going to go on top with this Tarte uh, lip vinyl because it was so good. You don't need a lot of this either. Like, just barely get it out and put it on your lips. That is a completed makeup look. I love the way everything came together. We tried quite a bit of products today. Lots of new things. Obviously, it's like blush central out there in the makeup world, but also a lot of face products. So if you want to stock up on your She Glam products, I'll leave that 15% off code below. Again, like those $5 liquid blushes. This is $10.99. Great for foundation. Great for contour. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one.